Okay, this is part four of patient ventilator assessment. The last, on um, part three, we demonstrated how to set a pause pressure and check plateau pressure. Now we're going to show you another way that you can get the plateau pressure without setting the pause pressure. So right now you can see that we have the pause pressure on, so I'm going to go to the um, setting screen, take the pause pressure off, and accept that. So now you can see that we no longer have a pause. I'm going to get out of the loop screen. Let's see. Um, and what we'll do now is what we'll do is do a manual pause during a positive pressure breath. This, all of these plateau pressures have to be gotten during a positive pressure breath. And like I said, the reason I do the pause pressure is because it's just so much easier. The thing you got to remember is make sure that you take it off whenever you get finished uh, evaluating this. So, all right, so I'm going to wait for a positive pressure breath here, and then we'll get a um, pause pressure. Okay, now there was the pressure right here, and we can see that the plateau pressure just disappeared, but it was still about 28 before it disappeared. So, we'll do that one more time just so you can kind of see. Right now you see there's no number in the 28, or excuse me, in the, in the plateau pressure section. We hit the pause, now the number comes up, and you're just going to hold it just for not more than one to two seconds for sure, because again, you're holding that breath into the patient and that could cause some, some potential problems. Okay, so that's how you do the plateau pressure um, to assess your uh, dynamic, I mean your um, static compliance.